Mrs. Wilkins. Good morning, Dora. Oh, Judge Kate's paper napkins. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Say, I called the laundry this morning, and they are promising, but they said that they would be delivering for sure. If they can. <laughs> uh, well, this is Kleenex, isn't it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. And we're all on paper napkins, too. Would you like me to go get a linen one just for the judge? No, maybe he won't notice. Yes, ma'am. Uh, remind me to call the laundry later myself. Yes. We used up our last box of Kleenex also. Good morning, Dora. Good morning, Miss Miriam. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, dear. Miriam, I've told you again and again, a small hat for a small face. You haven't a small face. This is a beret, Mother. It's a small hat to me. I'm not wearing it as a hat. I'm wearing it as a protest against our State Department. Go on. Our political science class does not agree with the State Department as regards to their French policy. You don't? No, we don't. And how does the hat get into it? We have decided to wear the beret, the National Hat of France, as our protest. We hope to interest Life magazine. Was that your idea? Clara Hoff thought of it. Clara Hoff's face is as small as a dime. Mother! <laughs> you live in an ivory tower. Don't go. Choose. <coughs> Good morning, Judge! Good morning, Dora. What's the kind word? Don't eat them eggs! <laughs> <laughs> walks into the restaurant and the waitress asks him for his order. Two fried eggs and a kind word. The waitress brings the eggs. What about the kind word? Don't eat them eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up to give my blood. That was very generous. 
generous of you. Well, they won't take mine. I'm allegedly too young or something. Not something. Too young. I'll take yours. Put it in a cup and I'll bring it down. Now, Mary, you had no right to sign your name and commit your father. But I signed father's name. Just one minute, young lady. Mary, signing your father's name, that's terrible. Why, it's, it's forgery. I'll thank you to let me determine the extent of my patriotism for myself. I'll cancel your appointment. I don't like that reading. It's as if you've discovered a fifth columnist. My signing up and then canceling is damned embarrassing. Every? Well, it is. I felt you, as a judge, had an additional responsibility to set an example. I'm a traffic court judge. Let Supreme Court Justice Frankfurter give blood. <laughs> good morning, Mother. Dad, good morning, dear. Good morning, Ruth. When was the exact morning you stopped kissing Father when you came down to breakfast? When she started wearing lipstick. It was at my request. She was always more affectionate than you. A little something in the air. Mmm, blue smoke. What do you think of Miriam's hat, Ruth? Very nice. It sets her face off just right. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it <laughs> isn't exactly her style. Do you two use hand signals, or is it just telepathy? <laughs> uh, what time did you get in last night, Ruth? Oh, about 11. Well, isn't that a little early? It was late enough. Another call? I'll tell you all about it, dear. There's your carpool, Miriam. Sorry, dear. I'm hardly interested. The games of a man and woman maneuvering biologically, I consider on a mental level of a game of checkers. Miriam, what do you know about checkers? Ruth. Go ahead, Ruth. You go, Miriam. A witticism is no answer for logic. You win, Ruth. <laughs> Harry. Good morning, Miss Ruth. I'm only the referee. Nothing, Dora. Thanks. Oh, eat some of it, dear. An empty stomach is makes for acid. Thirty feet of small intestine, and you're probably signed up to give blood. <laughs> <laughs> what was the quarrel about, dear? Nothing juicy, Mother. Oh, I don't mean to pry. If, if you don't want to tell me. Well, I was someone else. Him a little. With who? There's a war going on. The next person that says there's a war going on is going to get a punch in the face. I'm sure that Justice Bradford talks to his family like that. No, I'm serious, Harry. I think our whole family's becoming bad tempered. There is a war going on. <laughs> what was the war about here? About my tobacco use. You know Albert. Kind of a health bug, always ordering me milk when I want coffee, and the cigarette thing's his latest. Well, I can't say I disagree with him. You smoke too much. They've never been able to disprove that it's not harmful to prospective mothers. <laughs> That's fine feminine logic. Have they ever been able to prove it is harmful? I don't follow that, Harry. You just said they have never been able oh, to Oh, I'm not interested, Harry. I'd like Frankfurt to eat breakfast here just once. <laughs> Where did this quarrel take place, dear? At the pictures. I promised him I'd given up smoking. Well, I was going to, gradually. Unfortunately, my purse spilled open, and Albert got down on his hands and knees to gather up the contents. Suddenly he shouted, cigarettes! Half the music hall turned around. Is that all? That's all. Oh, well, you can get around that. That's hardly a quarrel. Smokes, corn silk behind the barn. Now, you can't be angry with him for being solicitous about your health. It's so strange to keep popping mints in your mouth, anticipating when he's going to kiss you. I feel like an old drunkard, always smelling of cloves. <laughs> there. Now, it must be comforting to have a quarrel with a man who's in your car. 
our approval. Well, I guess so. Have a puff. I can't stand those mints. Don't let him get you down, dear. He hasn't got us yet. Goodbye, dears. Goodbye. Be charming, but dignified. Charming, but dignified. How would you manage that? Women can do it, Harry. What do you think of that cover, boy? 34 is no boy. Well, besides being 34. Well, he can take care of an old father-in-law easy. Do you think Ruth likes him? Can't tell about our Ruthie. She doesn't say much. No, she doesn't. I don't know where she gets that clam-like quality. Not from us. See his picture. Do you know why that cover boy isn't in the Navy, in the Army? He says he has a bad back. It doesn't disqualify him from being a husband. I've got a bad back. <laughs> you didn't have it the first five, ten years. Complaint department's right here. Oh, a girl's entitled to ten years without a bad back. Dignified, but charming. <laughs>
Excuse me. I hope you don't mind. Uh, this is all I've had. Oh, that's not a very good picture of her. Yes, it is. I took it. <laughs> this picture's been on 25 missions. I used to take it out for luck and prop it up on my ammunition belt. You're a gunner? Yes, sir. On a B-26. I bet you've got some tales to tell. I beg your pardon. We're right ahead. That's more important. You think if I showed up at the bank, they'd give her the day off? They might. Why would you? I've been going over that first minute I see her for so many months. I kind of don't like the setting, all those people around. Well, she's a teller and accounts receivable. There'd be people. She's in a cage. There's bars in front of her. But bars wouldn't stop me, sir. <laughs> well, uh, how do you happen to be a gunner? Or are you given a choice? Uh, yes, you are. I was an engineer when I got to England, but I had an idea the war wouldn't be over too quickly. Well, there was Ruth and her letters. She's quite a letter writer. Well, I was there, and she was here, and a war in between. So I applied to gunnery school. You see, 25 missions, and you get to come home. Those must have been some letters. They were. Considering I'm pretty nervous just to be in the plane. Well, you gave her quite a responsibility. If anything had happened to you, she could have felt that it was her doing. She had a dream, I finished those 25 missions, and I crashed, taking off to come home. That's why I didn't try that. <laughs> that last takeoff from England didn't help my nervous system. Well, you're here now. That's the important thing. Yes, it is. Uh, well, I've taken a lot of your time. Oh, wouldn't you like another cup of coffee? No, thanks. I've got some errands to do. I'll be back at 5.30, if you don't mind. No, not at all. No, not at all. Excuse me. He's seeing you, baby. Uh, that's what I called her. Baby, you might as well know it. I used to call her that. <laughs> Not the same, dear. <laughs> I'll wander down past the bank and have a look in. If I get my nerve up, maybe I'll change my mind. Remember, it's a bank. There's also an article of war governing conduct on becoming of an officer. Who says it's unbecoming? <laughs> I'm very happy to have met you, sir. I'm happy to meet you, William. And I'm glad to meet you too, Bill. Be seeing you. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be that Albert cover. This one hasn't a bad back. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure he hasn't. Think, Ruth, would have confided in her own mother. Did you? 